shut up and sit down. Hi, hello, I'm the Cyber Guru. Thank you for watching. So I've had a project in mind for quite some time now since last Halloween, actually two Halloweens ago, about printing, 3D printing some skulls and putting some LEDs into the eyes and, and, and you know, programming them to glow and, and flash and whatnot that I can put on the sidewalk as the kids walk up. So that's a project that I started this year and so I've been in the process of printing some skulls. And one of the issues that I ran into is I wanted to be able to just stick the LEDs in the eyeballs and then run some wires down through the bottom. And so I found a skull on Thingiverse that uh, was appropriate, but it doesn't have the holes. So I've been struggling with Fusion and a variety of other tools to try and uh, you know get these holes put into the, the STL. And I finally stumbled across uh, the mechanism that I found uh, is the most superest, easiest possible way to get it done. And I'd like to show that to you right now. So uh, we're gonna switch over to Mesh Mixer and I'm gonna walk you through the process. Okay, so here we are in Mesh Mixer. So if you're not familiar with this tool, it's a free tool from Autodesk that allows you to manipulate STLs pretty easily. So uh, I've uh, preloaded the, the skull here, which is uh, something I got off of, uh, again, Thingiverse. And I don't know what's going on with the tool here, but I want to recenter. Yeah, all right, so here we go. This is our skull, and you can see what we're gonna do is put some holes right here. Uh, and then create uh, a pathway for the wires to go down. And I've already uh, cut the bottom off of, of the skull here to make it completely flat because it had some, some bumps on it that caused some issues. So, okay, so the easiest way I have found to do this is this function here called add tube. Now, this is something that I, I wasn't really aware of. And I was just poking around in the menus looking for a way to do an easy Boolean uh, uh, subtract but um, I, so I stumbled across this so if you click add tube you can see what it does is it, it gives you this little uh, well tube <laughs> and it makes the skull transparent or at least so you can see what's going on here and so what we want to do in this particular case is we want to uh, create a little uh, hole from the eyeball down into the bottom that we can run wires into um, so the easiest way I found to do this you can just take the tube and grab it like this and then take it and grab it uh, to the bottom. Now you kind of got to manipulate this a little bit and it helps if you turn the radius. Um, I'm sorry, not the radius. We want to make this eight millimeters wide. So we'll make it four millimeters. Four, there you go. But the tangent length, if we, if we make it straight, uh, you can see here, you could put a little curve if you want, but if you make it straight, it's a little bit more straightforward. Um, so we do want to have a curve because we want it to kind of there you go just like that and then we roll rotate here and then you can see how it kind of sticks the curve there just like that see so now what you have is you have it literally a tube <laughs> um, and then you can let's kind of line this up straight and say is this where we want this probably right about in the middle of the eyeball there right and so now you actually have a pathway and if you hit accept, uh, you can see there. And now, there we go. Uh, if we go to shaders, select the, uh, I think it's this one. There you go. Now you can see that it's, oh goodness, don't know what's going on. Uh, you can see that it's now got that tube right there. And it's, uh, you gotta be careful here that it doesn't, uh, snap into the side here because you uh, cr can create some holes and then we can do it again on the other side. So again, add tube. We'll select the eyeball there. Rotate this guy, something like that. Now you can see here, this uh, tube is not touching anything, uh, but we need to kind of put it in the center a little bit. So let's do this. Oops. There, that looks good. Uh, it's not touching anything, I don't think. Nope, it looks good. All right, so we hit accept. And now you have your two holes and that you can uh, glue your LEDs in and route your wires. Now I just noticed here that um, they're not quite uh, on the same horizontal plane. So if I hit Control Z, uh, it takes us back into the edit mode and I'm gonna pull this guy up so that they are kind of on the same plane. 
accept again. There you go. Awesome sauce. That looks good. Now you can do other things. Put uh, maybe a connector on the side or the back if you want and route the wires that way, but that's not what we're doing here. So. Okay, so it was that simple. You just go in the mesh mixer, pull in your STL file, and then add a tube. Connect the tube wherever you want, manipulate the settings, and it's just literally that simple. No messing around with combines uh, or the Boolean add, Boolean subtract, that kind of thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't like the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you soon. Thanks, everyone.